Hello, this is Mrs. Tackett, and we're going to look at the Serial Box Portfolio. It is a Google form that you will be filling out. You are asked to think of yourself as a product designer who is trying to save money for the company and be um, ecologically conscious of our environment. The first thing is to put your name in, last and first, just like you would see it in the Connexus system. Next, you're asked why is packaging important, and there is this link to an article that PNG put together on the on packaging and what it's doing. The expectation is that you will read this and either in bullet point or full paragraph fill in a nice paragraph or several bullet points what is being stated in this article? What is important about the size of packaging? And you would fill that in. Next, we are we have the video that I'm putting together right here that shows how we do this. and we're going to look at our original box. The first thing we need to do is take a picture of our box. So I'm going to just do it right off my screen here. Line it up. Move my camera back a little bit. You can take this with your cell phone. Whatever. But here's my cereal box. I'm going to put this into a Word document. So tack it, Jenny. All, all one word. And voila, my picture. It's the first thing I'm asked to put in this document, and I'm going to just save it so that I have it to my desktop so I can use this as my fill document, my uploaded document. Next, we are asked to name the shape of the container. Well, this is obviously a prism, a rectangular prism. They're asked to write the dimensions in inches. So for that, you just need your ruler. And I'm going to go length, width, and height. Um, so my length is six and a half inches and I'm using inches to measure. It tells me to use inches so that is what I'm using. So 6.5. My width is two inches. And my height is 11 inches. I'm to calculate the volume. I'm include the formula. Formula for volume equals base times height. The base equals length times width. So that actually equals 6.5 times 2 which equals 13 inches squared. Then to go to volume, we will want to say volume equals the 13 times the 11. So 
So my volume is 143 inches cubed. I'm using the um, 0178 for squaring and the Alt 0179 for cubing, just in case you wonder. You can use the above arrow, but you do need to indicate, or you can spell it out, you do need to indicate your values. Now I'm supposed to convert this into cubic feet. Know what happened to it there. So we're using cubic inches and to convert that, remember we put that over 1, we're going to multiply that by 1 um, cubic foot Uh, 0, 1, 7, 9. Divide it by 12 inches cubed. You have to use the same units. We're doing this for a reason. First of all, it has you really think about the measurements in terms of the measurements. You may have to use the arrow key to cube your feet. Um, or if I'm on my Desmos calculator, I can key in my 143 inches, divide it by 12, and I'm cubing that 12. So I'm using the, and it did not multiply it. Divide it by, I'm going to use the B, which will allow me to cube. And that gives me 0 0.082. I can round that to 0 0.083. Okay. Now, you're asked to go to this website. You're asked to do that because we want to compare is the volume of our box really necessary for the volume that they're telling us? And this site does a conversion. If, I, if we had to do the conversions ourselves, we would have to know a little bit more information like the density of the box. So you come to this uh, instant weight conversion website you will choose, um, come, scroll down here, and you'll pick your substance. Cereal's made of barley. Uh, they didn't have cereal here, um, but a lot of things are made of barley, and barley is about the weight of uh, our cereal. may not be precise, but it's about. Uh, so I'm going to put barley, and then I'm going to put my, my weight, and it tells me the grams. There's 453 grams here, so I'm just going to put 453 and I'm going to hit the convert me button and I'm going to come down here to US weight and mass and it shows me or sorry US volume it shows me in cubic feet that I have 0 0.026 cubic feet of volume. So let's, we're making a comparison here. What of our package was really needed in this volume, which is the only reason you're converting this so that we could use this tool and you can see kind of how much wasted space or how little you're getting versus the box. that the item comes in. So we're getting 0 0.026 cubic feet.
Again, I'm using that Alt 0179. And now I'm looking at my difference. Well, I got 0 0.083, so write it down, minus 0 0.026. Since they're still cubic feet, our difference is Okay, so we have our cereal box. Now we want to make a net of this box. So we said, and using our measurements, that our length is six and a half and our height is 13. So I'm going to make two boxes. And that we are two inches apart. So that's kind of showing all of my folds. And if we have two inches there, we have to have two inches here, so we'll just copy that. And we have the top and the bottom. But we have to notice that the top of the bottom goes all the way across, doesn't it? It doesn't just end. It's not going to be quite the surface area that we think of. Our box itself, of course, when it's all folded up, looks like this. And that's our outer surface area, right? We've got our 6.5 width. Actually, let's just put it up here. Two. And we said 11 inches. Now, what we have to remember though is when we're talking about the packaging material, we're not just talking about our box. We're going to have to add some of the wasted material. We would normally add some of the wasted material. We would add these the fact that we're folding our tabs, we're doubling some of this width here on the top, not so much on the top, but on the bottom, it depends on your cereal box. So figure out this surface area as we would normally figure out surface area. which is lateral area plus two bases. Well, our lateral area, remember, equals the perimeter times the height. Our perimeter is 6.5 plus 6.5, or 13, plus 4. Right, so if we put it all in, our perimeter is the sum of the sides.
or 17 inches squared. Or sorry, 17 inches. We're not looking at perimeter. And our height is 11. Notice I'm writing all this down so that it's in my document. To give me 187 inches squared. So 0178. And then our base is 2 times that 6.5, which equals 13 inches squared. And we would just add those together. And there's two bases. So we're going to take that 187 plus 2 times 13. or 213 inches squared. Now, when we're considering the cost of our container and multiplying it by 5 cents per square inch, do we need to make some additional measurements or should we just not worry about the scrap, the extra area around here? I'm okay if you don't worry about all those tabs because you're going to reduce the overall outside of the box. So I'm going to take my surface area, my 213 inches squared, And I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.005 to get a dollar seven seven cents. May not seem like a lot, but if you're producing millions of boxes, that can add up. So the premise is that we can reduce this size by changing its shape, maybe a square, maybe a cylinder. It has to hold the volume that we were given. It does not have to be necessarily the volume of the box itself. Although because this is serial, there has to be a certain amount of air, a certain amount of extra space. But notice we have 0 0.057 cubic feet of space that we can either re that we can reduce. Would changing the shape make a difference? Maybe a cylinder, maybe a sphere, maybe a cone, maybe a pyramid. And you're going to do these same processes now with your imaginary box. All right, so say I choose a cylinder. I'm going to repeat my calculation, so I'm going to have to give radius, height, find my circumference versus my perimeter, find my surface area by finding the circumference and the height and the area of the base is using circles, or maybe I made this a cube, or maybe I made this a sphere. And you're going to calculate your change of shape and your change of size. You may just change the size. You may make the box smaller. You still have to have a little bit more volume than what the contents need to hold. You're going to write a paragraph describing why your design is more effective.
You're going to state the advantages of your design and the disadvantages, and then you're going to write a paragraph, conjecture, of why most cereal boxes use rectangular prisms as containers. Note that coffee used to be rectangular. They went to this cylinder design, and look what they've done. Could you do a modification that might make grasping that container a little bit easier? That could enable pouring by making maybe a spout? Think of that. Could, if you use a sphere, could the sphere have two pieces of sheet cardboard on either side so that it stacks like a square? If you use a cube, could it have indents and a manipulative pour? Think about what you could add to your design.